Once upon a time, two sparrows lived in a great sal tree, which stood on the bank of a wide river. They lived a peaceful and happy life. There were plenty of trees beside the river. But they liked the sal tree the best. Every year the sparrows built a new nest in one of the many hollows of the same tree. Now this part of the river was the favorite swimming spot of the prince of Ramnagar. The prince loved to ride and hunt. After a hot, dusty ride on one of his fine horses, the prince liked nothing better than to have a quiet swim in the cool water. One day, in the spring, the mother sparrow laid some eggs. The sparrows were delighted. In the afternoon, they sat happily on a branch and watched the prince splashing about in the river below. But when they returned to their nest, they found that their eggs had disappeared. They were most upset and they flapped about making a great noise. The father sparrow suddenly saw the tail of a long snake slithering into a hole at the base of a tree. He knew what had happened. The sparrows fluttered from branch to branch and made such a noise that they woke their friend, the owl. He wanted to know what was going on. So they told him about the missing eggs and the snake. They also told him that this had upset him so much that they were now going to leave the old sal tree forever. The owl listened their sad story and he nodded his head and rolled his eyes. Don't worry, my friends, said the owl. You must not think of leaving your nest and going away because of that horrid snake. Why don't you get rid of him? The sparrow looked puzzled. But how can we possibly do that? Said the sparrows. Please tell us. You are wise and can think of a plan. The owl sat blinking his large, round eyes. Go to where the prince had left his clothes, said the owl. Pick up the prince's gold necklace and drop it in the snake hole. The sparrows did not understand what this was all about. But they trusted the owl and they respected his wisdom. The sparrows thanked the owl and immediately flew towards the prince's clothes. The father sparrow picked up the prince's gold necklace while the mother sparrow flapped her wings and screeched loudly. Now, the prince's guards were sitting on the bank of the river. They went everywhere the prince went. When the guards heard the noise, they looked towards the prince's clothes. They were surprised to see the sparrow flying off with the prince's bangle. The guards roused themselves and chased the sparrow. The sparrow flew around just out of the reach of the guards. At last it flew directly over the snake hole and it dropped the gold necklace. The necklace spun to the ground and fell in the snake hole. The sparrow flew to the safety of the sal tree and perched on a high branch. The snake was startled by the arrival of the necklace and poked its head out of the hole to see what was going on. Just as it did so, the guards arrived and one of them drew his sword and killed the snake. That was the end of the snake. The sparrows was overjoyed. They thanked their friend the owl and praised his intelligence. The sparrow continued to live happily in the sal tree for many years. 
The following years, the mother sparrow laid some more eggs and the baby sparrows lived with their parents in the sal tree. Mr. Owl watched over them. 